One reason I find that organizations might not be listening is they fear negative feedback. Well, let me be the first to tell you that negative feedback is so much better than no feedback. Uh, one, you know the problem when you get negative feedback. People tell you and they tell you exactly what they think. Two, you know that that person cares. If they're taking the time to give you that feedback, they care about your work in some form or another. So what do you do with that negative feedback? The first step is to look at it through the lens of your mission. So for instance, if you are a nature center and you've had to place some new rules during COVID that people were not happy with, but your mission is really around protecting that nature at all costs, you need to make sure you're shouting your mission and the work that you're doing towards that so that people understand why you've made that decision and can deal with it or move on if they're not willing to respect it. However, if your mission is around preserving nature for the purpose of people enjoying it and experiencing it, then you might need to take their opinions more into account. Perhaps hold a focus group and really understand some of the challenges, you know, as well as you explaining why you've made some of these rules uh, and get to a compromise that works for everybody. So I say go out there and get that negative feedback so that you can make the changes that will help your audience bring closer to your mission and support the great work that you do.